let's keep this conversation going and bring in attorney and chair of the Delaware Republican Party, Julianne Murray, and the man who literally wrote the book on alleged Biden family corruption, Seamus Bruner, author of Fallout, Nuclear Bribes, Russian Spies, and the Washington Lives that Enriched the Clinton and Biden Dynasty. Thank you so much for being with us, you two. Julianne, let's get right to it. You are in the state that is, has largely been under the Biden family influence for decades. What do you think the people there think about these charges? Are they finally waking up? I'm seeing a lot of polls that more than half of Americans think that he knew about his son's business dealings and he was involved with it. People are seeing it, absolutely. And, you know, and, and to, I, I listen to Dr. Gorka and agree. I, it's unlikely that Hunter Biden is going to jail. However, what's interesting about this is these charges, actually this, this indictment, which means it went to a grand jury, actually goes beyond that first gun charge that he had. It's about his false statements. Personally, I think that, I mean, so yes, there's 25 years on the table, but it's about the false statements that he made. And the last time it was just about the fact that he possessed it. And I think that the last time they did that, because they knew it was going to be challenged and found unconstitutional by the Fifth Circuit. So there's kind of some leeway there on that. These false statements are not going to be found unconstitutional. The statute's not going to be found unconstitutional. I think this is about leverage. I think that this is, you know, yes, there's this two-tiered system. They want to be able to say, yeah, we charged him finally. We were running up against a statute of limitations. But I think it's also about putting a squeeze potentially on the big guy. His son is now going to be in front of a judge who blew up that sweet plea deal. Mm, great analysis there. Uh, Seamus, yesterday White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre was asked about a possible pardon of Hunter. Take a listen. When would the president pardon or commute his son uh, if he's convicted? So I've answered this question before. It was asked of me not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, and I was very clear and I said no. All right. All right, Seamus, what do you think about this? I mean, will, will Joe Biden ever face the consequences? Because, again, this is what it's about. It's about the big guy. Hunter was just a pawn. Right. That's right, Lydia. It's great to be with you. Um, Karine Jean-Pierre lies with such uh, just remorseless, no, no, you know, it's just like water flowing out of her, her lips uh, every, every day. So, I mean, when she says that, she's just supposed to say that. Of mm -hmm. course, Joe Biden would pardon Hunter Biden if he were facing... Uh, serious jail time if convicted of these crimes. Um, we t we're told endlessly by the mainstream media and Karine Jean-Pierre herself how much Joe Biden loves his son and Joe Biden himself, you know, he says that maybe he made some mistakes and it's all because of how much he loves his son. Um, so, of course, I mean, he's not going to let his son go to jail, uh, especially when Hunter is the ultimate um, person to take care of. Hunter has got all of the smoking guns, and I don't think Hunter Biden wants to go to jail, certainly not for 25 years or anything close to that. So uh, he's got a lot of leverage over his father, over a lot of people in the administration, at the DOJ, at the FBI. Uh, the DOJ and FBI have been covering up for Hunter Biden's crimes. They're, as far as I'm concerned, they're complicit in it. So that's, that's why all of this looks so bad for David Weiss, is he's now having to come back and charge Hunter for things that he tried to previously give him a sweetheart deal for. It just looks so bad for the DOJ, the FBI, and of course, the Bidens. I have less than a minute left, but I want to ask you both this really quick question. Julianne and Seamus, uh, do, you, do you think Hunter would turn on his dad? Ooh, interesting question. Yes, I do, actually. He, you know, he, he is about protecting himself. And, and I think there may be more charges coming. There could be tax evasion charges. There's statute of limitations stuff out there. Yes, I think he would. What about you, Seamus? Yeah, I, I think he would. I think also Joe Biden would step down before he had to do that. Mm, great point there, too. Julianne Murray, Seamus Bruner, thank you both so much.